Championship, the final of Robot Wars Extreme Warriors U.S. Championship. Woohoo! There's never been a contest like this. We started out with 24 robots. We've seen carnage. We've seen cruelty. We've seen chaos. And now there's only two left. Only one will go down in history. One will be history. There's no second place here. It's a question of who wants it more. I'm not going to wait a second longer for this one. Let's get it on. All right, Mick. The revolution has spin their way into the final up against the Panzers who prove they're no pansies. This is for the whole enchilada. All right, guys, so it is the moment that we have been waiting for. It is crunch time, the big dance. It is time to find out who is going to be crowned U.S. champion as our East Coast, West Coast teams battle it out. And Panzer 2000, you guys were really cranking over there on the repair. Yeah, well, we just had to charge the batteries up, get some more CO2, and bend a few parts back straight. Oh, yeah, like what? Uh, just some of the side plates were rubbing on the wheels and stuff, so we just bent those back straight and everything. Did you change anything up? No, it's going yeah. back in the same as it was. Okay, best of luck to you. Thanks. Okay, let's go over here and check out the revolutionists. Hey, guys, how you feeling? Hey, feeling good. How to be American still? Oh, of course. Can't you tell? So I noticed here that you guys got some new teeth. Yeah, we thought we'd go with this special steel that we've got now. A2, it's tool steel. It's much harder. And uh, we should make a nice nice shredding out of the size of his robot. Oh, okay, well, we're going to see. All right, we will. <laughs> Robotiers, stand by. Well, this is what you've been waiting for. There's the Panzer team with Don at the controls. Is he full of CO2 or what? And the revolutionist with Brian at the controls. We'll see if he's got some extra shredding power. And if he does it, Dead Metal will, the first house robot in this final. And joining Dead Metal, Sir Kill-A-Lot. Well, oh, this ought to be a goodie. Three. This is it, Robot Wars Extreme Warriors U.S. Championship Final. Revolution is off to a spinning start. Panzer can't get any penetration at all, but he pushes Revolutionist right into the capable clutches of Kilowatt. Revolution has smartly got out of there as quick as possible, but from the fryer to the frying pan, Revolutionist goes from corner patrol zone to corner patrol zone, right into dead metal's arms now. But no damage again yet, anyway. Oh, a big miss by Panzer. Panzer trying to do anything to penetrate Revolutionist's quick, agile movement. But it looks like some penetration's going to be done here. Right into the corner patrol zone. And Dead Metal brings that saw right down to the Revolutionist. Panzer gets him out of trouble. Well, he was doing fine just leaving him alone there. But the Panzer's got that lifting arm up. And oh, he just can't quite get underneath the Revolutionist. Well, that'll be the ticket right here if the Revolutionist can stay alive. The Panzer just needs to get right under the Revolutionist, and he does! Oh, ho, ho. He gets right underneath! The Revolution boys know the end could be near here, and there could be a new Revolution with the Panzers coming through. They drop the Revolutionist, spinning in the corner patrol zone. The pit is opening up. Sir Kilowatt in that corner patrol zone notices that the revolutionist hasn't moved for 10 seconds. It's all over for those boys. The audience is bang for the pit as dead metal drags revolutionist ever closer to its inevitable destiny. The hole in the ground. Goodbye. Oh, uh, well, at least they got a good sense of humor. They have to with those suits. Ladies and gentlemen, Standing at my side, the lovely Rebecca. Rebecca, you hold in your hands the award given to the first ever USA Robot Wars Extreme Warriors Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the team of the Panzer Mark II. Excellent, excellent job. Congratulations to all of you. And I've got to admit, when I saw the revolutionists in action in the semifinals, they looked impressive, but it seemed like you just took away their greatest weapon right off the bat. Yeah, we just kept pounding on them so they couldn't spin up their weapon and then just kept pushing them around until something broke or we, and we ended up flipping them over in the corner. You, you basically made them look like a turtle on its shell. 
but we had the horsepower and we used it and there's no substitute for horsepower with that in mind i'm going to have rebecca present you with this prestigious trophy what will you do with this trophy i will stick it on the shelf in the shop where the robot was made a great idea ladies and gentlemen one more time turn around and show everybody the award the trophy given to the first ever robot wars extreme warriors champion